the third quarter certainly gives them full command of this game, Phil. Well, let me coach up the defense here, Little Jim. What you did in that drive was just not good enough. Change your strategy. Be more aggressive. You're down in the game. We're in the second half. Now it's time to make things happen. Harris going to test the coverage here. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Giants talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Jennings tackled down after a gain of two. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Second down coming up. It's a two tight end formation. Tosses the football. Keeps churning ahead. You want to be a running back in the NFL, I'll say this. You better be able to break some tackles. We saw multiple tackles broken that time. Good job. Third and one coming up. The Buccaneers out now in a 4-6 formation. The catch is made by Daniel Fells. That's his first reception today. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. First down here. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch in open space. Coming to the line at the 34. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Jennings going to secure the handoff. That's a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Manning's off the mark there, incomplete. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. Third and four. They'll go ground. Still powering ahead. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The coach is going to go for it. The Buccaneers defense lined up in a 4-6 formation. The Giants will take the snap from the 25. They'll run it with him again. And in for the touchdown. Still more than a quarter left in the game. With that touchdown, they're well within striking distance. Oh, they're right there now. Now you can sit back and change what you were trying to do. You don't have to play with desperation. you got to now what you've done by scoring, you've made the other team have to come out and play and take some chances. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Buccaneers offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they run on the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. And when you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. Look at that. Everybody's the line of scrimmage. The defense showing a blitz. Double tight end formation. Toss to the outside. Amukamara is the one who made the big stop. 
Giants defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Martin lines up in the backfield. The Buccaneers from the 22. Martin's got it. Screen. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Third down now. Winston's lining up in the pistol. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. The Buccaneers' offense, they know it's more than just about their defense. The offense did a good job that time picking up the first down. That's what you want to do. You got a small lead in the second half. Keep getting those first downs and eat that clock up. They bring in the extra tight end. Martin's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The final quarter begins with this snap. Has space. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. The Buccaneers' offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. It's first down as they head to the line. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Has his target. John Beeson able to make that tackle. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Winston's now completed four in a row. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Martins on the toss. Gets the football. Mukamara's all over the ball carrier. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Two tight ends on the field here. Martin is in the backfield. Second down and 11. Martin up the middle. From inside the red zone. Sims lined up as the single back. Third down and 10. Safarian Jenkins makes the grab. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Looking across the middle, Jackson's brought down after picking up just a yard. Anytime you go forward on fourth down in the NFL, that's a big play. And when the game is close in the second half, it becomes a huge play. That was a wonderful job by the defense, stopping them there on fourth down. The Buccaneers defense lined up going with the 46 defense. And Jennings is brought down, this time for five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. 
They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Time is beginning to run out here midway in the fourth. Pulls it in. The Giants did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Time in this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go, so only gets a couple yards this time. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Trailing every third down so big at this point. Manning's lined up, two tight end set. Throws the pass. And there's a drop. I would not second guess the coach if he decides to go for it on fourth down here. You're losing a game. It's in fourth quarter. It's close. You're near midfield, fourth and short. Uh, this is a no brainer. I think he should go for it. The Giants will go for it here on fourth down and short. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. And Jennings handed the football. Manning's unable to come through on fourth down. And with that failed possession, 